Oh, now it is one of our favorite times on Wednesday. I know Delia is specifically looking for a little redemption. I we sure are bringing am. in Dr. Lori to play a little dumpster or no dumpster. Dr. Lori, of course, our favorite antique appraiser around. How you doing today? Hey, it's great to see you. Yeah, our viewers have been sending in pictures of your art, antiques, collectibles. You can do that, of course, on the Facebook page of Tampa Bay's Morning Blend. I'm doing great. How are you doing? <laughs> We're great. How's the weather up there, by the way? I have to say that the greater New York, Pennsylvania area is doing all right. A little snowy on the ground, but we're looking at 50, 60 degrees by the end of the week. Oh, well, that's beach Warm weather up. for you. Warm up. It I is. Like it. Well, if you get too cold, you can always come down here. We've got some great sure. antique shops down here in Florida. Oh, that's for sure. Terrific in St. Pete and parts of Tampa. And even if you go toward north, like Wesley Chapel and up in Lutz. And, oh, nice. Yeah, lots of it. She knows. she knows, and she can do that about every city, too, in the country. <laughs> you know what else she can do? She can show us an item and, of course, educate us, but puts us to the challenge as we guess if it is $50 above or below, hence the dumpster or no dumpster. Of course, these items sent in by you at home. Thank you. What is our first one today? This piece surprised the heck out of me. This is a beautiful uh, French spice cup. Spice cups were very, very popular in the late 17, early 1800s. And this one is hand painted. It's made by the Sevres factory, which was the factory that was first initiated by King Louis XIV in the late 1600s. This piece, as I said, dates to the late 1700s, early 1800s, hand painted, made in France of porcelain. It is about three inches tall. I'm kind of giving Dalia a look over here thinking, wow, it's that old? I feel like and in that great condition. I feel like great. it's definitely a no dumpster. Same. Are they rare? I mean, how many of these are in circulation? Can't be a lot. Terrific question. Yes, very rare. And the condition was like, oh my gosh, fantastic. <laughs> I love the detail, of course, the gilt detail around the base, around the rim, as well as around what's called the cartouche, which is that open area that you paint the flowers in. And yes, it's a no dumpster. It's worth $250. Gorgeous. That's awesome. Amazing. That's yeah. awesome. Good find. I right. sent that in. What about our yeah. second item today? Second item is a trinket, ceramic trinket box, or sometimes called a jewelry or dresser box. So it's ceramic with hand painting as well. It's a lot younger. It dates to about the 1940s. You take off the lid and you can put your earrings or a, a safety pin or maybe a needle or whatever you might have hanging around to make your dress are nice and neat and you can put those pieces right there inside uh, this one is sort of a biomorphic form which is typical of the world war ii era it's about six inches long hmm porcelain is that what we said hand painted it's bone china so it's technically not porcelain bone china means it has bone ash in it with the feldspar and the kaolin and what they mix the clay and okay. then they glaze it and then they hand paint it I don't know. Compared to the Louis XIV thing, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say dumpster. You know what? I think we're going to have to split here. Uh, I think we're going to, I don't know. I think I'm going to split because of the age. We've talked about trinket boxes in the past. I'm going to say hold on to that bad boy and put it on your dresser. So I'm saying that no one's only worth $25. So Delia gets that one right. But a lot of trinket boxes are valuable. That one is uh, relatively with respect to the materials average okay 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 do you have one more quickly one more quickly wheat plate with gilt details so the decoration of course is the wheat this one's also from the middle part of the 20th century the 1960s it's one plate in a service for 12 so we're going to guess on the one plate only oh mm, one out of 12 yep lonely it's uh, lonely what do you think? dumpster you're saying dumpster I, I i know we've discussed the wheat pattern so that's what's kind of got my attention, but it's it's a lot. It's by itself. Just go with your gut. My gut talks myself out of most things I'm thinking. <laughs> Let me tell you, that's the problem being in my head. I'm gonna go with her too because it's a singular. Even though that's we could right. be, I'm gonna that's say right. because it's a singular. It's a dumpster. The wheat pattern relates to prosperity, which is very popular <laughs> after World War II, right? So that's why we see the wheat pattern, but. Yeah, it's a dumpster. It's worth 20 bucks alone. Nice. Look at us. Yeah, I would say you went un you got them all right there. <laughs> Undefeated I'm today. Dalia is back. As always, you can play along with us. You can play along with Dr. Lori on her YouTube channel. But don't forget to send in those items, folks. We'll take a look at them each and every week on the show.
Dr. Lori, as always, a treat to have you. Oh, nice to be with you. Spring cleaning's coming, so check out those objects. Let's see those photos. Oh, great good idea. Tease. Good idea.